Hello, online teaching world. This is Teresa Wills, and I'm here to share a synchronous online teaching strategy called Dynamic Math Talk. Synchronous means that we are live and in real time. I use Google Slides exclusively because of their collaborative affordances. Just be sure to give your students access to edit the slides. Have you ever wondered how to conduct an engaging, student-centered math talk while teaching online? Dynamic Math Talk uses the arrow tool along with other shapes and colors as visual cues to focus the learner. In this class, I use a probability game from elementary and middle school mathematics teaching developmentally. In this game, you can win a car if you make it through the maze to the room where you place the car key. You can place the keys in either room A or room B. At the start and at each fork in the path, you must spin the indicated spinner and follow the path that it points to. Once you've reached room A or room B, the game is over. There is no going back through the maze. In which room should you place the key to have the best chance of winning the car? Students were given the task and a virtual spinner and then placed in a breakout room. They investigated the game and recorded their experimental probability. Since they had access to Google Slides, they were able to record and post their work and present it during the whole group discussion. Then they were tasked with identifying similarities in two different pictorial representations of the solution. You can see how students are able to quickly copy and paste these shapes and use color to code for similarities between the two models. You can also see how the arrow is a substitute for a pointer, so you know where the speaker is referencing. I hope you're inspired with the synchronous online teaching strategy called Dynamic Math Talk. Please share your tips for Dynamic Math Talk and promote this strategy whenever teaching online. This is Teresa Wills. Thanks for watching.